here when it comes to improving kidney function, combining the right foods together is just as important as eating the right foods. Wait, wait, wait. What? Sounds incredible, but it's true. I'll give you an example. This is turmeric, a super healthy spice, all right? Turmeric has huge kidney protecting benefits thanks to the curcumin it contains. Very recent studies are linking curcumin to improved creatinine levels in CKD patients. So if you eat turmeric, your kidney function is going to be better, all right? Well, not really. Curcumin from turmeric doesn't get absorbed by the body very well if you eat turmeric alone. You also need piperin from black pepper. When you add piperin to curcumin, a miracle is going to happen. Curcumin is going to be absorbed at a rate that's 2,000 times more than when you eat turmeric alone. Yes, combining these two foods, turmeric and black pepper, is how you can protect and improve your kidney health. Amazing! So, have I made my point clear? I really hope so, because there are seven more food combinations that can make a huge difference in terms of kidney health. Are you ready to see them? Let's start immediately. Let's take a look at our number seven for today. This is an ideal food combination for all kidney disease patients, both from a nutritional and from a gastronomic point of view. Number seven is string beans plus K plus orange. Okay, these are three very healthy foods that will become real kidney protecting superfoods once you combine them together. The reason is the iron in kale and string beans. This mineral is key for kidney health because it will help you fight anemia, a very common complication that can cause kidney damage. Keep in mind that iron deficiency anemia is incredibly common in CKD patients, all right? There are so many patients that are suffering from this complication that some doctors ended up stopping to test kidney disease patients completely. I mean, what's the point of testing if everyone is positive, they thought. Yeah, these doctors didn't really care if their patients ended up in a transplant list. This is why you must get as much iron from your diet as possible. So eat all the cruciferous veggies and all the legumes you can fit in your diet. But what these foods contain is non-heme iron, which is not very well absorbed by the body. Enter vitamin C from oranges in this case. Just like for a curcumin that only gets absorbed when you also add piperin, non-heme iron will only be beneficial if you add vitamin C. Now, this combination of foods, string beans plus kale plus orange, is incredibly healthy also because all these foods have other kidney protecting benefits. They are all great sources of fiber. And there is more. String beans also contain carotenoids such as beta carotene, lutein, and zeaxanthin, which protect the kidneys against oxidative damage. Kale also has powerful antioxidants such as quercetin and caperol, which may help reduce inflammation. Some studies suggest this food may also help lowering blood pressure. And orange is not just vitamin C. This fruit protects from diabetes because it is full of nobaltine, a nutrient linked to improved glycemic control and insulin resistance. Yes, this combination of foods is amazing. And if you think this info is useful, consider sharing this video with a friend and maybe also tapping the like button. Up next, number six, papaya plus flaxseed. This pairing is highly recommended to anyone who suffers from constipation. You see, these foods both help the good functioning of the intestine since papaya is rich in fiber and beta carotene, and it also contains an enzyme called papain. Papain can help digestion and it is also considered a remedy for constipation and other symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. Amazing! Flaxseed, on the other hand, is a source of both soluble and insoluble fiber, which helps with intestinal transit. A great combination of foods to improve gut health. 
Now guys, most people consider constipation just a mild discomfort, but you see, if you have kidney disease, you should never underestimate the danger of constipation. When the kidneys are not working properly, the body needs to use anything possible to get rid of toxins, alright? In case of constipation, also the gut is not working properly and this will increase the amount of toxins that will remain in the body. This is both linked to complications such as hyperkalemia and it will even make kidney disease progress faster. So consider this combination of foods. Now it's also worth mentioning that flaxseed is probably the healthiest seed out there for people with kidney disease. Flaxseed has amazing anti-inflammatory properties that can actually make a difference with the inflammation many patients are suffering from. And there are studies proving that eating flaxseed regularly protects the kidneys, especially in those with inflammatory kidney disease. Flaxseed can even improve the GFR of patients in some cases. This is why flaxseed is one of the most recommended seeds for people with kidney disease. Just keep in mind that you need to green flaxseed before consuming it or you can buy flax meal instead. So consider this combination of foods, papaya and flaxseed, for your gut health and also to protect your kidneys. Up next, let's take a look at what's probably one of the best breakfast food combinations for people with kidney health in mind. Number 5. Oatmeal and Blueberries Ok, let's talk about a food combination that could easily become a favorite breakfast staple for many. Oatmeal is a high fiber food that can help both with high cholesterol and diabetes. Because you see, oats are full of beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber with powerful detoxing properties that has been linked to improve glucose control. And then we also add blueberries. These berries are a superfood that also contains some fiber and this will also contribute to the release of ghrelin, which is a hormone that manages hunger. Also great for diabetes! Berries are also rich in polyphenols, the chemicals that possess powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. People with diabetes and those who need to lose weight can benefit from this pairing since polyphenols can basically prevent fat from forming. And there is more. When oatmeal and blueberries are eaten together, they have a synergic effect on lowering the oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, which is incredibly important for anyone but for people with diabetes or a kidney disease in particular. So always consider pairing oatmeal and blueberries for breakfast. Let's take a look now at what the perfect before bed combination of foods can be. Number four is banana and almond butter yes not many people know this but there are certain foods that are great to help us sleep better and bananas are one of the best especially when combined with almond butter what a tasty snack and bananas are not just a great source of vitamin b6 which is key for healthy kidneys and of various antioxidants and phytonutrients they can help you sleep better because bananas are one of the few fruits known to be relatively rich in the nerve messenger serotonin serotonin is the feel-good neurotransmitter by the way and can also be converted by the body into melatonin the sleep hormone a study was able to observe a more than fourfold increase in melatonin blood levels within two hours of eating two bananas. Absolutely amazing before bed. But it can be even better if you also add some almond butter. And not just because eating almonds regularly has been associated with lower risk of chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Almonds may also have sleep promoting properties according to studies. That happens for two reasons. First, because almonds are a source of melatonin just like bananas. Yeah, you can never get enough melatonin. And almonds are also an excellent source of magnesium, providing 19% of your daily needs in only one ounce. Which is great because almonds also contain some protein that you should probably be limiting. And guys, magnesium is not just key for kidney health in general. It's also needed for a good night of sleep. Having low magnesium levels, which is common in CKD patients, is linked to a long list of issues including high blood pressure and insomnia. 
And don't think even for a second that lack of sleep doesn't impact the kidney negatively. Sleeping less than 6 hours per night is proven to have profound consequences on your health. Obesity, coronary heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure and a shortened life expectancy are all linked to poor sleep. So maybe you could try some bananas dipped in almond butter before bed? Now guys, before you storm the comment section to tell me you can't have bananas, I know that some kidney disease patients are forbidden from eating high potassium foods such as bananas. But please don't get angry at me if I mention this food because you know everything changed about potassium in recent years. The old rule of always avoiding potassium is now overruled. Today, the rule is to find the cause of high potassium levels and to treat it. Now, if you didn't know about this and you are still avoiding high potassium foods, my video up here and also down in the description is going to be a must watch for you. Up next, another food combination that's going to be amazing for the health of your kidneys. Number three, tomato and avocado. Okay, both these foods are very rich in potassium, so make sure you can eat them before adding them to your diet. And well, there is a good reason why these foods are taking the number 3 spot in today's top 7. And the reason is lycopene, a powerful antioxidant. And guys, we know today that getting as many different antioxidants as possible in our diet is very important if our goal is to improve the health of our heart and kidneys. This is what a review from the Cochrane Library recently proved. And lycopene in particular can protect from free radical damage but there is more to lycopene than just its antioxidant function. It is also linked to lowered blood pressure and improved heart health. It's clear that we want more of it in our diet. Tomatoes are a great source of lycopene and in order to get more of this antioxidant, you want to cook your tomatoes. Lycopene is, however, fat soluble which means it needs some fat to be absorbed by the body. And a great way to add some fats and turn tomatoes into a kidney protecting superfood is by eating them with some avocado. You can make a salad or even a tip depending on how ripe your avocado is. And this combination is not just tasty. Avocados are rich in vitamin C, E, K, and B6, as well as riboflavin, niacin, folate, pantothenic acid, and magnesium. They truly are nutrition powerhouses. Avocados are also rich in various antioxidants that, as we have just seen, are very important for kidney health. So try tomato and avocado, a kidney saving combination. Up next, here is how to turn any fruit into a diabetes fighting snack. Number two, eat fruit with nuts and seeds. Now guys, many people think that if the goal is to improve glucose levels, they must avoid eating fruit. Well, recommending a diabetes patient to avoid fruit is just as bad as recommending smoking in order to lose weight. And I'm not even joking, as we can see, science is very clear on this. If you have diabetes and your goal is to, well, avoid losing your life, then you must eat fruit every day. And there is more. Regular fruit consumption is linked to decreased risk for diabetes and also the risk of complications in people with diabetes. Guys, keep in mind that they also consider kidney disease a complication of diabetes in this case. Alright, as usual in case any of you for some reason still cannot believe that fruit is really good for you, well, the studies I've just shown you that are published on some of the most authoritative medical journals in the world are also linked down in the description. You can take a look if you want and then you can also leave a comment so we can discuss this matter even farther. But it's clear that eating too much fruit in one sitting can still raise your blood sugar too quickly, which is not something we want. But there is a little trick you can use to make sure the fruit you eat is not going to cause a spike in your insulin levels. An easy trick! Always eat fruit with a source of fats. Nuts and seeds are perfect here. Their fat content will make sure that you are not going to digest the fruit too fast. This will in turn prevent any insulin spike while you get the benefits from this fruit. 
Okay guys, I have one more combination of foods to show you today. A combination that will make a huge difference because by adding one super common ingredient to a super common food item, you can increase your antioxidant intake by five times. And that's amazing because antioxidants are key for a better kidney health. Let's talk about antioxidants. As I was saying, antioxidants are now proven to be able to improve kidney function. Says the Cochrane Library, aka the most authoritative scientific paper in the world. And you see, this is important because when it comes to things that alone can actually improve kidney function, the list is pretty short. One, there are antioxidants. And then there is two. Yeah, it's a pretty short list. This is why I strongly suggest to add more antioxidants to your diet if your goal is to improve your kidney function. So question, how can you improve your antioxidant intake by five times? Easy, let's just add a teaspoon of lemon juice to your regular cup of green tea. Yes, our number one for today is lemon and green tea. But how are these super common foods going to help us improve, you may ask? As I was saying, antioxidants are crucial to protect the kidneys. And do you know where people get most of their antioxidants from? No, it's not from berries or other fruits and veggies. It's from tea and coffee. Because blueberries are way richer in antioxidants than tea, gram per gram. But most people drink even 3 or 4 cups of tea or coffee per day while maybe eating a handful of blueberries once in a while. This is why tea is a better antioxidant source than berries. And what about lemon juice then? Well, adding lemon juice to green tea can make green tea 5 times as healthy. But how is lemon juice going to make green tea healthier? The reason are the catechins naturally present in green tea. Catechins are antioxidants that have been shown to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as TKD, but also cancer and cardiovascular disorders. And they are incredibly powerful at improving kidney health as we have seen. Now the problem, a study found out that we only absorb 20% or less of the catechins in green tea. This is where lemon juice makes a difference. Citrus juices, including lemon, can increase the absorption of catechins by more than 5 times. Amazing! So add a squeeze of lemon juice and enjoy a tea that's 5 times as rich in antioxidants. So, isn't this one of the easiest ways possible to protect your kidney function? And guys, if you want to know more about what antioxidants in particular have the biggest, most positive impact on your kidney function, you're in luck. I've made a full video about this topic. It's up here and also down in the description. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.